We're going to give you a brief history lesson. There once was a little boy named Leonardo DiCaprio, and all little Leo dreamed of was becoming an actor. At the age of 14, Leo was fitted for a television role in a show called The Parenthood. Once the show ended, he set out to do bigger and better things like make great movies. Then, in 1993, Leo captivated the big screen as Arnie Grape, a mentally challenged teenager, earning him his very first Oscar nomination at the age of 19. From then on, he was on a roll, making movie after movie. I'll give you a few, just to refresh your memory. Romeo and Juliet as Romeo in 1996. One of the greatest movies of all time, Titanic as Jack in 1997. There wasn't a dry eye in the theater. May I add, Leo wasn't even nominated for an Oscar for this film. This was the biggest letdown in Oscar history. The Man in the Iron Mask as King Louis XIV and Philippe in 1998. Gangs of New York as Amsterdam Ballon in 2002. Catch Me If You Can as Frank Abagnale Jr. in 2002. Aviator as the legendary Howard Hughes in 2004 which earned him his second Oscar nomination. The Departed as Billy Costigan in 2006. Blood Diamonds as Danny Archer in 2008, which earned him his third Oscar nomination. Shutter Island as Teddy Daniels in 2010. And Inception, my favorite, as Cobb in 2010. So there you have it. Leo has been way overdue for an Oscar since his role in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. What's that, 18 years? Yep, 18 years. It's been expressed time and time again that Leo is one of the top, if not the top actor overdue for an Oscar. I'm Jen. And I'm Ed. And we're making a documentary traveling from coast to coast to meet people like you, celebrities, and those in the film industry who have worked alongside Leo to have your and their input as to why the Academy, which consists of 6,000 members, may be delaying his Oscar. And most importantly, we'll try with all that is in us to get a sit-down interview with Leo himself. Most people we've spoken with assumes he already has an Oscar, but we want to make it clear that he doesn't. We're hoping to plant a seed in Hollywood in hopes that Leo's next nomination will deliver him the ultimate actor's trophy. But we can't do it without you. We need to pledge at least $100,000 to get the film made. What's in it for you? Gifts, as a thank you for help making this happen. Wouldn't you love a helicopter ride above New York City, the very city the Titanic would have docked? How about appearing in our documentary? Sounds cool, huh? We need you to blog, Facebook, Twitter, your word of mouth, whatever you can think of. Now there's an awesome website called kickstarter.com. It's an all or nothing funding method where projects must be fully funded or no money exchanges hands. Again, we can't do this without you. Fans or not, you know Leonardo DiCaprio's quality of work and his evolution as an actor. It's all about performance and Oscar justice. We're tired of him getting dubbed, aren't you? Hopefully the next time you see him at the awards, he'll be holding that trophy.